My name is Bumi Ajakai and I am a filmmaker and a student of film. Um, my journey into filmmaking is very peculiar in that I didn't have the chance to, to pursue it uh, in the formal education, like how you go to film school. I didn't get that chance because I was raised in a very conventional home where you study to be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. So when I did my first degree, I was working and I was um, pretty much responsible for myself. So I, I decided that I was going to take a couple of years off to see if this thing, uh, let me try it. Cause I, I didn't want to live a life of regret. So I packed up my suitcase and I took a month's leave off work and I just flew down to Nigeria. I didn't tell anyone. And when I came here, I found some certain people that taught me certain things, that showed me that, you know, the industry is at a very interesting place right now, so it, it, this would be a good time to be a part of it. My very first time filming was um, in 2015, where I was a director of the shoot. And um, it was for a movie called It's About Your Husband, which I co-wrote with um, one of my senior colleagues, Uduak Ison and um, she gave me the chance to co-write it. At the time, I didn't think that I was going to be told you know, to, to direct it. So I wrote it with all the fanfare. You know, writers, we go extra because we are writing out of our imagination. So um, at the time, my answer was no thank you. I didn't think that I was equipped. I didn't think I'd learned enough. I didn't think that um, I'd earned the right to be called a director because I think that the, the, the job of a director is, is, is not beans, as you say. You can't just get up on the street and start telling people what to do, start telling people how to emote. It's not a job for someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So it wasn't a hard adjustment for me because it was just like being with people that I work with. And I find it very easy to relate with people on set. They're like my brothers and sisters. By far, the most challenging project I have taken part in is definitely my wife and I. And the reasons are very obvious. I had the interesting task of directing two directors. Omoni Wuli is a well-known director. Ramsey Noah has directed in the past, still is as we speak. So that in itself is, is, is a tall order for anybody. So how much more me? Just some random girl that you know has worked her way up. So of course it's daunting. It's not the easiest thing to do, but I, I see everything as a challenge. I was trained to see difficult things as something that you must do. It's like the more difficult it is, the more you want to do it. My inspiration comes from a lot of different places. Um, one of the things that got me interested in Hollywood was um, what is now termed as old Nollywood, even though, let's be honest, it's all the same industry. Um, those are the pioneers of the industry, the people that did this when there was no money involved, when there was no fame, when people looked down on the industry. They kept going. You, you have no idea how difficult it was for them then. I'm inspired by other young directors who are pushing the envelope, who are doing crazy stuff. As a female practitioner in the industry, um, I've, I've, I've been very fortunate. And I say this because I didn't start out as a director in the industry. So I worked my way up, which means people have known, you see my face on one set or the other. And the industry is really small, so the crew, they spread out. So chances are the person that you worked with on that set will be on the next set, will be on the next set. So, and they can tell your level of commitment, your level of drive. So I haven't felt the, um, to any degree that my gender has made or mar any opportunities that I may have had. As a director on set, I don't, um, well my style, I, I don't march into a set and go, well I'm the director here, is that? No, it doesn't work that way. I think that, um, I, I believe strongly that making a movie is so collaborative, you need everybody. You need their commitment, you need their energy, positive energy. Piracy is a very complex um, issue that we're facing in the industry. It's, it, it seems to have gotten worse over the last couple of years. And um, the, the people who, who started the industry, I mean, they suffered it greatly then. And, um, you know, it's still rearing its ugly head today. Um, there is no one method to curbing it. 
So what the cinema has done is it has brought an alternative, you know, income stream for you. Where 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 in the past you would have to depend solely on DVD sales. So I don't it doesn't it can't curb it. It can only provide, you know, some form of relief to a filmmaker. Hi, my name is Bumi Ajakai. I am a filmmaker and a student of film. Keep watching Tribe TV. Action! <laughs> <laughs>